Hello and welcome to scrapbook.com. Today I'm excited to share with you two new clear double-sided adhesive rolls, perfect for die cutting, for mounting cards, and so much more. Let's take a closer look. If you're like me, it's a struggle to find great adhesive that adheres to anything. With the exclusive double-sided adhesive from scrapbook.com, we've found some great products in a lot of different sizes and widths. Our current selection includes a 1 8 inch roll, a quarter inch roll, a 6 by 6 sheet, as well as an 8.5 by 11 sheet. And then we have the 6 inch adhesive roll, which is my personal favorite because it works on anything. It's perfect for die cutting, making your die cuts into stickers, and so much more. Well, you asked and we listened and we got a lot of responses loving the six inch adhesive roll, but you wanted different sizes. You wanted to have options. So you asked for a two inch roll and I'm happy to say that we have brought you the two inch adhesive roll as well as a four inch adhesive roll. So thank you for your comments and, and your requests because that's how we make great products to make you happy. And let me tell you, I'm happy too, because these are amazing. Let me show you a couple uses for them that might help you think out of the box and save you a little money along the way. So first I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to most effectively use the roll because it's super sticky. And if you lay it down the wrong way, it will stick to your table. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to use your roll. So it's gonna unroll like this. And I always unroll it to the table like so. What that does is it keeps it flat and it allows the roll to kind of stay in place. The nice thing about this is that most of our card bases are four by five and a quarter or four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is the perfect size to quickly adhere anything to a card base. So you're just gonna leave it lay flat. It has a little bit of static, so it's gonna kind of stick to your table, which is good, it won't move. You're gonna start it at the edge and you're gonna roll. So it rolls your paper onto the adhesive. Just give it a little rub. It's sticky, it will not come off. So make sure you place it right the first time. And you're just gonna trim off the excess. I highly recommend some titanium scissors like the ones Tim Holtz sells through Tonic. If you have anything hanging over the edge, you just cut it off and you are ready to go whether it is on a card front, whether it's flowers on top of a layout, you can easily peel the backing and place your project. Super sticky, it is not gonna come off. So if you struggle with finding adhesive that sticks to anything, this is your go-to adhesive. If you like to foam mount your card bases or elements on your card, the four inch adhesive roll is perfect for doing that. You don't have to use wet glue, you can use the roll. There's tons of adhesive on the roll. I cut my card base four and a quarter by five and a half. I cut my sheet, my foam sheet, to four inches by five and a quarter. And it's the perfect size to mount on top of my card. So if I have a card that I want to layer and get dimension, you can already have your foam sheets stickered and ready to go. And this is how you do that. You're gonna do the same thing as before. You're gonna start at the edge and you're gonna roll your adhesive sheet onto the four inch roll of clear double-sided adhesive. You're gonna trim it off with your non-stick scissors. If you use anything that besides non-stick, you're gonna be having sticky stuff all over your scissors. So I highly recommend getting a good pair of non-stick scissors as well. I use Tim Holtz today. Those are from Tonic. We're going to put, so we already have it on one side. The back side we're going to add as well. So we're going to put the adhesive down on the back side and do the same thing and roll it on. You can cut your foam to the perfect size if you love to mount your cards 3D like that. I do a bunch of them at once. When I'm ready to adhere, I take my card. If I wanna pop it up, 
you simply press it down. It is not coming off. You're going to peel off the back. Once you've peeled off the back, you're going to take your card base, center it over the top like that. Make sure it's centered the first time because once it sticks down, you're stuck there. And you've got a 3D mounted backing. It goes through the mail beautifully and it does not crush. Just another use for the new four inch clear double sided adhesive. The next addition to the scrapbook.com adhesive family is the two inch adhesive roll. It comes like this and it is the perfect size to fit through your Sizzix Sidekick machine. So anything you put that fits on your plate can be adhered with your adhesive roll. Now let me show you how to adhere the adhesive to a strip of paper that will fit through your Sidekick. So like we did in the last one for the four inch roll, we're gonna lay it down flat on the table. So you're gonna place your roll flat on the table and I have a strip of, literally, this is a piece of paper that I cut off. It was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that I cut down and I had this as a leftover piece. And I usually throw away some of my leftovers because I never know what to do with them. Well, with the two inch adhesive roll, I can now use those quickly and easily to make sticker letters. I love thickers, I love sticker letters, but I always end up running out of that one letter to finish off the saying, or the sentiment or the title, the, I will no longer have that problem. This is not a problem I will ever have again because this takes away all of the guesswork and questioning. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start at the edge, we're gonna line it up and we're gonna roll our piece of paper onto the two inch strip. We're gonna rub it down, getting rid of any bubbles that might be at the bottom if you didn't roll it exactly perfect. That's fine. We're gonna take our titanium scissors from Tim Holtz. We're gonna cut off the edge. And we now have a sticker sheet for all of our tiny letters. So I love letters. I love letter dies. It makes my heart happy to buy them. And I have a ton of them. I tend not to use them as often as possible because I always end up you know, getting glue that scooches out the end. They're small, they're tiny, and sometimes it's just more of a hassle than it's worth. But now, this makes my heart so happy. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our plate, our sidekick plate, and we're gonna load it up with letters. Just add some random letters. So it's already got adhesive on the back of this black sheet of paper. It fits perfectly inside of the sidekick on the plates. I'm going to bring in the sidekick. We're going to lock it down. We're going to run these through the machine. The cracking is fine. That means it's cutting properly. We're going to open it up. So it's easy, fast, lots of options. You can do it in any color of paper, cardstock, printed pattern paper, any of those things. So you have your letters. You can cut out as many letters as you want. You're going to poke out your inside pieces. You'll never run out of alphabet letters again. If you're looking for the perfect scrapbook adhesive for cards, for layouts, for all of your projects, check out clear double-sided adhesive rolls and sheets from scrapbook.com. Thanks for watching! If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.